quilters canvas, um, cotton canvas, it's 15% linen, 85% uh, uh, cotton. We have it in the uh, embroidery room in lots of different colors. And so, not lots, of, there's probably six different colors. There's a blue, a black, uh, this color, a cream and a white. When it's time to make a jelly roll rug, a jelly roll raise, a jelly roll quilt, I can pull that bin out, sift through there. And even if I want only blues, or I want blues and purples or only pastels, I could still dig through and easily get 50 two inch, two and a half inch strips or 84 or however many I need. Um, and that's pretty much where most of these came from. This was not a uh, jelly roll. This was fabric that I cut up into two and a half inch strips. So there's a bunch of it here. And um, so that was why this was a size that we used. And so once we did that, um, then all we're going to do is we fold it in half lengthwise. You don't have to press it. You don't have to do anything weird. And then you start at the bottom and you might want to pop up to see this real quick. I, this is the part where we're all going to have to get close and personal. So when you're first going, um, you don't need a very big piece. So I might take this one next. And for this particular one, I would say that those are probably a half inch maybe three quarters of an inch apart. And so I went ahead and used that as my line. So I just laid this down right on top there. And I just top sewed. So I have my quarter of an inch, quarter inch foot. I'm not doing anything weird. I'm acting just like a quilter. And I'm just gonna sew this thing down. You're so sewing your folded edge or your raw edge? My your folded, folded edge. edge. Okay. I'm sewing my folded edge down. And so you can see this one and then and so if you start down here and you're layering it as you go, I sold, sewed that one, then I sewed that one, then I sewed that one, so then this quarter one. Inch a piece. Quarter inch a piece. Can everybody see? Mm -hmm. Each. Okay. So I have them right on that line, sewing that quarter inch. And you can kind of sew and... and um, so do you want fabric like this that's marked on? You want fabric right. with lines, with yeah. these lines on there. Or, Amy is right, you could do horizontal or... Uh, vertical it wouldn't make any difference but but um, keep doing that and then after you feel like you need a break from that or whatever then that's where what you're going to do can you see this right here take your scissors and there are some scissors I'll bring mine out I forgot to grab them they're called um, reverse action scissors they're rag scissors what happens is if you do this all at once you'll get about a third of the way and go oh my god you know what is happening with my hand so it is kind of nice to sew a few cut a few sew a few cut a few and so all you're gonna do when you do it is you're just going to, so the idea is instead of doing a bias piece and cutting straight, mm -hmm. right? We're doing a straight piece and cutting bias. Oh, that's really that? good. Oh. <laughs> so smart. Smart. So smart. So, so that's all you're doing. And we're is cutting you're, those, what, about half an inch apart? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Yeah, half inch, quarter inch, you know, I mean, you have to measure, don't go crazy. Uh, and then, uh, and then, and you just keep going, and then you wash it. The more you wash it, the better it will look. Batiks will curl. They don't fray. They do this weird curly thing, which is beautiful. I mean, it's fantastic. Because it's a tighter weave? I don't know what it is. So I've never figured mix. it out. <coughs> you might not want to mix them, but it frays, it rags totally different. So that's one tip. The second thing is that if you can only find kind of a great, great big chunk or a teeny tiny chunk, just use your line as reference. Just go, I'm going to go every other, or I'm going to go um, one line and then in between, and then one line and then in between. You're just kind of eyeballing it. But what will happen is when this all stands up, see where you can see it. Mm -hmm. You won't see it a lot, but you'll see it. So if you, if I decided to put a pale pink background here, you absolutely would see it 100%. The third tip is that when you get to these big long pieces, because the idea too is to use things up. So maybe you will have strips, you know, that look like that, which is great. So then what will happen is you'll get to a spot where it's not, it's not long enough. So all you have to do, this is what's so great, and we've done this multiple times, it works perfect every time, so let's just pretend that I have that folded just right. I'm sewing my quarter inch, sewing my quarter inch, and I've run out of room. I am gonna cut that off 
weirdly, you will see that. <laughs> I don't know why, but you, you really will. You, it doesn't have to match. Your piece doesn't have to match. You just need another piece. <coughs> and you would cut off that salvage. And you just layer it. Oh, you don't even have no. to join them at no. all. No, because the whole thing is raggedy. So it doesn't matter. Okay. If that's just an extra ragged edge, totally doesn't matter. And then you just keep going. So that's why it's so nice that if you just have these weird leftover pieces, it's not going to matter. And, and, um, and don't get hung up on, oh, shoot, but this one is touching that one and this one is. You will never see it. It just stands straight up. And so if we look at um, this one again. So you can't really tell if those are floral fabrics or polka dot fabrics mm -hmm. or whatever, it doesn't matter. And also you can see, you can see the background. Mm -hmm. That's the piece that was, but that one, we drew the lines. We had to go ahead and take our friction marker and measure half inch draw line, half inch draw line, half inch draw line. That's cool. So yeah, so see how it's curly? Yeah. Weird, right? Yeah. Cool. But, but the texture of it, it's really kind of the color. Then, yeah. I like pink because it makes me happy. Any shade of pink. in the thing so you can kind of see what it's going to be. Nobody puts Willie in the corner. Nobody puts Willie in the corner. <laughs>
Oh, oh I love the great. borders. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. I love the border. I can't hold it up, but I can't either. Wow. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.